Hi everyone and welcome to McGinn's Woodshop. I'm glad you can make it back. If it's your first time here, I encourage you to go check out some of my other videos. All sorts of crazy content for you to follow. Anyway, today I'm going to go ahead and make a garbage can for the kitchen out of these boards that are a dollar each at my local lumber mill. Stay tuned and I'll show you how I do it. Ten in total at 29 inches. And we'll keep doing that until we have our ten we need. Putting the boards down, you can see where the knot comes out, shoots across and hits my hand. As a safety note, I'd like to notice, if you watch my eyes, I never take my eyes off the blade itself and I try to keep my even pressure with my left hand. With one side trued up, I'm going to go ahead and cut the other side off. We'll go ahead and set that to 5 inches. We have about a 10 inch gap here. I'm going to go ahead and cut a 2 inch board for the middle and just that way everything uh, lines up and looks even instead of having a small piece on the side. I made these an inch and a half shorter than the 12 inches of the panel and what that'll do is give enough space for the other 3 quarter inch on each side. Uh, room to meet in when they butt in. So using one of these as a spacer draw line, add some glue. With everything cleaned up, glued up, and ready to go, I'm going to trim off one end to make it flush flip it over and cut it to 28 inches. So I'm just masking off the areas where I don't want the stain to go so that the glue will adhere better. No, I'm saying. The reason why you are finishing the inside of this now is because it's much easier to do before you do the glue up, obviously. Yes, exactly, Chris. Thanks. Look at this. This is the kind of stuff you get to see live. Look where I screwed up. I put tape on both sides, um, but obviously the one that's on the inside inside isn't going to need a spacer, so <laughs> I'll, I'll have to stain that little strip right there if you can see that. Now I can scrape up the glue with a scraper. I'm going to go ahead and use the hand plane and just clean this up and give it a little bit of a shape around this for sanding and get it ready for its final sand. myself some pine to fit in here at ten and a half. By measuring the remainder of space, I can then make a piece that fits right in the middle. Using some spar of urethane, I'm just going to give it one coat to give it some protection from wetness and moisture in the kitchen and garbage or spills, anything that might happen on the, can on the garbage can itself. So 
while the spar of everything cures, we'll go ahead and cut for the lid. With the outside of the garbage can measured, I cut some appropriate sizes uh, pieces for the lid. And what I'll do is I'll make a basic frame first by gluing and screwing. I can place it exactly how it fits and make a pencil mark on the bottom to get my exact size cut. So with my lid pieces cut out, I'm just going to go ahead and quickly glue those together. I'm running these rails along the bottom just to hold hold it right where I want to have it. And I'm going to go ahead and screw these in. It'll be a frame just to hold the lid on uh, so the lid can come on and off without affecting anything. And I'll go ahead and mark my spots where I want to cut. And with that cut, I'll go ahead and fit it into place. Okay, so this looks like a great fit. A little bit of a lip here to lift it and open up the, the drawer. So let's go ahead and clean this up and finish up the garbage can. And finally, to put the hinges on, we'll just go ahead and make a mark two and a half inches in and line them up from each side and screw them in. Okay, folks, well, that just about does it. garbage bags well. Alright folks, well I hope you enjoyed that trashy video. And if you did like it, go ahead and give it a thumbs down. If you didn't, go ahead and give it a thumbs down. Just get to the point, snip, snap, in, out, you gotta go zigzag, you know? What else? Are you doing stuff behind me? No, but my arm is there, so I kind of... <laughs> okay. I thought you were doing something, and then, like, I turn around, and you're kind of pretending, like, I'm not doing anything. <laughs>